I don't know, Mr. Juncker, whether this is how you carry on in Luxembourg. I doubt it, because in any other part of the civilised world, frankly, that behaviour would be considered to be bloody rude and the act of a bully. Then we'll have to come, have to come when you will regret your decision. I think many will say we're simply dealing with fanatics who are not prepared to be reasonable and make any sense of compromise. We said so after the first meaningful vote in the Commons in January. The debate and votes in the House of Commons yesterday do not change that. The withdrawal agreement will not be renegotiated. Mr. Juncker. (laughs) Although I like Juncker. No, I do. I like Mr. Juncker. He's the only person I know that makes me feel I haven't got a drink problem. So I... <laughs> she said you called our approach nebulous and Jean-Claude Juncker denied it. Well, of course he denied it. It was after a good dinner, wasn't it? That's the last time you are applauding here. <laughs> And to some extent, I'm really surprised that you are here. You were fighting for the exit. The British people voted in favour of the exit. Why are you here? You know, you were Prime Minister of Luxembourg for 19 years. You headed up the Euro Group. Knew you are not. You and this Commission, frankly, are as stale and musty as a corked bottle of wine. <laughs> 